Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to review the force of gravity inside an object, a solid spherical object like the Earth for example, and associated with that would be the acceleration to the gravity at that location. So let's say we're somewhere inside the Earth at some distance r away from the center. Big R is the radius of the whole object, in this case the whole Earth, and so what would be the acceleration due to gravity and what would be the force of gravity at that location. So we're going to do an example where let's say R is halfway down from the surface down to the center. Now the way to attack that is as follows. The way we do that is that the force of gravity, of course mg, is equal to the force of gravity using Newton's equation, g times the product of the two masses divided by the distance uh, between the two center of masses squared. Now of course we imagine there's a small object here with mass m, like that, and we want to know the force of gravity on that or the acceleration to the gravity on that small little object. Notice in that case we only consider the mass inside the sphere made by the radius little r. And how to find the mass inside that sphere? Well, we say the mass inside the sphere is equal to the total mass of the object divided by the ratio of the two volumes, the volumes inside little r and the volume of the whole object. Of course, the volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed, and so the 4 thirds pi cancels out, and we're left with the mass inside is equal to the total mass times the ratio of little r cubed to big r cubed. And that is what we're going to use for the mass inside. Notice after the m's cancel, you end up with g equals g m over r squared, which is the equation that we saw in the previous video. But now we use the inside mass and the small r squared. The inside mass, of course, will be the total mass times the ratio of little r cubed divided by big r cubed. And we still have to divide by little r squared. When we solve that, we get g equals g m over r cubed times r. Now notice that this is a constant and this is your variable so we end up with g being a linear function of the variable r. Linear function. And so we can see that if we draw that you can see the gravity would be 0 on the inside, 9.8 at the surface and there would be a linear relationship. So therefore when you're halfway down the acceleration to gravity should be half 9.8. If you're a quarter down, it'll be a quarter of 9.8. If three quarters, if you're only one quarter down, it'll be three quarters, 9.8, and so forth. So in our example, we replace little r by one half big R, and we can see that indeed we get 4.9 meters per second squared. So now you know how to calculate the acceleration to the gravity or the force of gravity, which of course are proportional, anywhere inside a solid sphere by using this technique. Of course, if the density is not constant, you have to use the techniques of integration to do that, but at least here you know how to approach it, and that is how it's done.